Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do Nico daily challenge, not daily challenge, weekly challenge. First question, difference between element sum and digit sum of an array. So you are given a positive integer array num. The element sum is the sum of all elements in the nums and the digit sum is the sum of all digits, not necessarily distinct that appear in nums. Return the absolute difference between element sum and digit sum of num and the absolute difference between two integer is this so the thing is that we are required to do whatever elements which are there sum of those elements means this then this means 1 plus 15 plus 6 plus 3 this is the element sum which would be there means whatever and the digit sum would be 1 plus 1 plus 5 means if it is a digit if it is a number with two digits then we need to split that also and have sum of that also so whatever would be there so this would be the digit sum and then we are required to return absolute difference between both of them so that thing which we are required to do so as it is easy level question and as per the statement also it is pretty much easy in direct implementation that you need to do sum of all the numbers which are present in the input and then you need to check for each number if it is greater than 9 then we are required to split that number into further digits and then do the sum of them and then add that to a final answer and then at the end we would be having two sums digit sum and the element sum then we need to subtract them and whatever subtraction would be there we need to just return the absolute difference means uh, if negative sign is there then we just need to remove the negative sign and return the numerical value which we attained mm -hmm. so this is what we are required to do in this question and even you can see as per the constraint it can directly go ahead with brute force solution so let us go ahead with this uh, the implementation part for the same and then we'll discuss about the time complexity and the space complexity. So here we can see just in uh, initializing and declaring our variables. So here we are just doing the uh, sum of each number which is there and adding that up to our sum uh, variable. Then here num in nums if it is greater than 9 then whatever i think we are required to do that we will bring. if it is less than or equal to 9 then we are going to directly add that so now comes the part that when it is greater than 9 so then at that point uh, because uh, we can directly see that these numbers are uh, basically decimal numbers so in that context we will be doing modulo with 10 so that we can extract the digit and then divided by 10 so that we can shorten it as per the decimal digit so that's what we are doing here and until that num exists till then we will be doing all these operations so that's what we are required to do in this particular question and then we will be doing absolute difference for the same means the digit sum and the sum that's difference we will be doing and at the end we will be returning our answer so this is the thing which we are required to do in this particular question now comes the part for the time complexity and the space complexity so here if we see here time complexity is order of n and here if else conditions are there and this particular is directly uh, we can as per the constraint if we see each number which is there each number which is there that is up to 2000 only right and in that context 2000 means four, uh, four digits are there so this particular while loop will run in order of four at max and this particular number of digits which are there so in that context order of n into order of four with is equal to order of n only and this is also order of n so that's why the time complexity for the same would be order of n and now comes the part for the space complexity 
So space complexity, we are not using any extra space. So that's why space complexity is order of one. So this was all for this particular question. If there is any doubt, you can comment that down. And yeah, one more information. As you are already solving with the uh, lead code weekly and bi weekly challenges, you can also uh, go ahead with Newton School code, uh, Coding Contest as well, about which you can figure out for the link in the description. So yeah, this was all. Thank you.